Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another blog tech tips. And of course, guys, in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to on your iPhone how to clear up cache on iPhone. All right. So if you have any iOS device that includes any iPhone or other similar device and you want to learn how to clear the cache, this tutorial will walk you through the process. Now, please note that officially there's no official way on um, iPhones to um, clear the cache. However, there is a cache and it can be cleared however there's just only a workaround i'm gonna show you that workaround now by default the ios system is very robust and it does run very effectively however it does need a um, at times when apps crash it does need help and as a result you will have to figure out ways how to clear the cache as i'm about to show you right now all right, so let's get straight into it. Now, the first thing you want to do, guys, in case you want to clear the cache, is just simply, as shown here, um, simply go to um, settings. Now, once you're in settings, guys, you'll realize that um, from here, you'll need to go down to general. Then, of course, go to iPhone storage. And, of course, once you're in iPhone storage, you should see all the apps along with their um, individual amount of storage that they um, consume. Now, as you're seeing here, this is the apps. Um, if I choose a popular app such as um, Instagram, for example, here, you'll notice it does say your app size is 126.7 megabytes, which is the installer size. And of course, additionally, it has created 13.8 megabytes in documents and data. Now, that document and data is actually the cache, right? So cache over time can change but usually the app size doesn't change and of course you'll see that 13.8 megabyte will grow over time and there's no official way as i said to clear it however there's a workaround now the workaround would be guys to delete the app so you can actually just go ahead and hit delete app you'll notice it says here um, deleting instagram will also delete all its documents and data so as we said here documents and data is the um, cache and by hitting delete app, app as shown here it will actually erase that cache and once you do that i'm gonna do that right now i'm just demonstrating once you hit delete app it will clear all of that and for good measure you can just go ahead and um, reboot your device after you come back you can simply go ahead again go back to the app store for the application and simply search so let's say it was instagram And of course, once you're here, um, you just go ahead and install the app over. And of course, doing that should be good enough to um, clear the cache on your device. Now, um, <clears throat> some apps have a option built in that allows you to clear the cache as well. So, for example, TikTok has a built-in um, feature that allows you to clear the cache. Let me show you what I mean right here. So, if we go back. You'll notice I'm on my profile. I'm not signed in right now. It doesn't really matter as this is with the app. I guess you can use the app signed out. Simply hit the three dots upper right. You'll notice after um, entering here, you'll notice you have a bunch of options. Scroll all the way down. You'll notice here, you'll see the option that says clear cache. Um, I've cleared this already. You notice it shows 0 um, M, which is megabytes. For you, you might see um, a number there. Or you might just see a gigabyte depending on how heavily you use this application go ahead and hit clear cache and notice that um, circle just now and it has just cleared the cache it should go down to zero and of course that's how to clear the cache for a specific app um, as to other apps it's difficult to tell which apps will have in the option it's a good idea for specific apps to go ahead and launch and see if you can get into their settings and try to see if there's an option to clear cache browsers are usually popular especially the built-in safari browser there is an option to clear cache on that as over time that one can get um, very slow as for um that go into settings let me go back here you should be here and once you're in settings from here guys scroll down and search for the um, safari option it should be towards the top somewhere around here go ahead and tap on safari and you should see a bunch of options scroll all the way down since the built-in app all, almost to the um, end of the screen then of course you should see clear history and website data now if you hit clear um, history and website data 
what should happen is that it will erase all the cache that's um, built into the browser so just go ahead and try that clear history and um, web data and it should free up the space so that's about it i've given you three ways for you to um, use to clear cache on your ios or iphone device one you can uninstall the application um, you can also check by going into um, settings general and um, iphone storage and see how much cache that app has built up especially if you see a lot under your um, documents and data section for that app it would mean that the cache is very high you can uninstall from there and of course you can also um, for specific apps depending on the designer you can go into their settings inside of the app and see if there is a clear cache option or clear storage or something relating to that that will clear cache and of course for the default browser or the similar browsers you can go into settings you can find um, the browser and you can to, um, use the option that says clear data for that specific browser and of course by doing that guys you would have uh, been able to clear the cache all right guys we got a gardener as usual from blog tech tips saying bye until next time bye guys